today we're going to be doing a demonstration on a wheel balancer model number 514 today so we're going to show you exactly how to calibrate the machine and how to use the machine and we're going to go through some settings as well the machine comes with three cones and cone for truck adapter and a hub ring for the truck adapter which goes right there like that comes with a quick nut once you power the machine on you got setup mode input data transform and power off we're going to go set up f1 system settings so when you receive the machine it's going to look just like this It's going to look exactly like this. So your distance is in millimeters, the width and diameter are in inches, unbalanced weight is in grams. You can always change it by scrolling down with F2 and F3 and F5 and 6 is to select what you want. So we're going to hit F5, we're going to choose ounces and then F9 to save. Weight calibration and auto ruler calibration. We're gonna show you how to do the auto ruler calibration first. So F1 is your distance calibration, the distance ruler. F2 is the width calibration, width ruler. And F3 will do your diameter, the wheel diameter. We'll hit F1. It'll tell us to keep this at zero. Zero is at rest position. So the ruler, the width ruler should be at rest position. You're gonna hit F8 is save and continue. F9 is save and exit. We're gonna go hit F8 and continue. Then we're gonna go to 20. Gonna pull, pull the ruler to 20 centimeters. It says 200, but it is 20, 20 centimeters. Hit F8, save and continue. The distance ruler is calibrated. We're gonna go move on to F2, the width ruler at rest position. Eight and continue. And then we're gonna pull that and touch the face of the flange. F8 and continue. F3, the diameter. You're gonna take the distance ruler, rest it on the shaft. Hit F8 and continue. Save and continue. Then we're gonna get a 14 or a 15 inch tire. This one here is a 15 inch. Fifteen inch. I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's a 15 inch 20565R15. Has to be a 15. 14 or a 15 inch rim. You're gonna use the cone, size it up, a quick release nut. And then if, you, if you're using a 15 inch, which we are here, you're gonna use F4 and F5 to adjust the uh, size of the rim. So we're using a 15 inch, but the machine is set for a 14 inch. So we're gonna use F4 to 15. Then you're gonna gr grab the distance ruler and touch the edge of the rim. And then you're gonna hit F8, save and continue. That, all the rulers are calibrated. The distance ruler, the width ruler, and the diameter is calibrated. F9 and exit. We're gonna go F3 for weight calibration. So here, we're gonna hit F3 to input the data, the distance, diameter, and the width. Pull the ruler. So here, as soon as we pulled the width, the diameter, uh, the distance ruler, it gave us the distance and the diameter of the wheel. 6.5 is the width. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit F8. Hit 
So now it's telling us to put a 3.5 ounce or 100 gram weight, which comes with the machine on the outside of the wheel. We're gonna get this at to the center of the wheel, then we're gonna lock it with the brake so the wheel doesn't move. So you'll receive this with the machine, 100 grams or 3.5 ounces. We're gonna go ahead and install this. And it's gonna go exactly at 12 o'clock. So we're going to put this exactly at 12 o'clock because if we don't, you're telling the machine, if you put the weight on either side of 12 o'clock, you're telling the machine that 12 o'clock is here or here. So that's why it has to go exactly at 12 o'clock. Then you're going to close the hood and you're going to wait till the, the motor stops, then you're going to pull that off. You're going to take the same weight and put it on the inside of the wheel. But you got to make sure there's no weight. Make sure there's no weight on the rim. I'm going to put it at the center. Mark it at 12 o'clock. And then close the hood. And then it automatically saves your calibration.